Islam is perfect, but the creation is not. Across America, our Muslim communities are diverse and growing, but there's something that we don't often discuss, and that's African and Blacks in our communities. At my job, I had a random customer who was an auto woman ask me what my name was, and I told her my name's Iman, and she said, wow, that's a beautiful name. Do you know what it means? So like when I was eight years old, I went to my cousin's house, and we were walking around her neighborhood, and some guy, some like kid who was like 11, yelled out of his door, and he was like, go back to your country, and then she was like, stop being racist, and then I went home and I was crying. I met some girl, Lebanese girl, and she asked me, where are you from? I said, to her from Sudan. And she said, uh, do you have food in Sudan? Oh my God, I just love when the Arab uncles are like, oh, mashallah, how do you know how to be? And I'm just like, <laughs> People think I'm not black because I'm proper. I think they get the two words confused, black and ghetto. Actually, I'm pretty sure they do. I've been in an Uber one day, I was giving the guy the directions um, to get where I needed to go, and then he just said, you can just say it in Arabic, and I was like, but I don't speak Arabic. Often my friends are like, they're more black than me, and I'm like, how? Where? Parents want me to cut my hair. It's about, it's about three inches long now, and I can actually put it in my mouth. Sort of. Um, they want me to cut my hair because I perceive as a black African male and they don't like that. So it's a problem in all youths, I'm pretty sure, especially in the Sudanese community. People don't view me as Sudanese. They think I'm either Yemen or Egyptian or some different kind of race or ethnicity. See, people have this tendency to want to understand what's unfamiliar to them. So they want to label you and somehow make you more relatable to themselves. And unfortunately for black people, um, everyone wants to relate us to pop culture and what they see on TV and hip hop. Like, no, I don't want you to comment on my swag or tell me that I look like Beyonce or anything else that's gonna make you feel like I'm not much different from you. It's not okay. So I used to work at The Gap and a, a few customers came up to me and they were like, talking about me in Arabic. And then I was like, oh, I can speak Arabic too. And started talking to them in Arabic. And then they're like, oh, wow, let's be best friends. And then they're like, have you ever tried Fair and Lovely? Why do you think saying the N-word with an A is different? Find out the origin and just stop saying it. Why can't black American Muslims just be black American Muslims? Why don't our brothers want to show ourselves as Muslims? Why can't we wear something like the tawhiya or the cap for, for males as, as our women wear hijabs? When does the racism stop if you can't recognize it within yourself? Why do we segregate black people in the community? Why do we not know how to emphasize or highlight the racial diversity through uh, our Muslim community and what measures can we take to improve that? Why is it okay to copy black language music and clothes, but then when it comes to marrying a black person, you're all like, my parents would never let me. Why do all black Muslims have to be put in a box? Some of us are immigrants, some of us are American, some of us are converts, some of us are not. Islam came, away, came to do away with the nationalism, the tribalism, the racism that existed uh, within the Arabs back in the time of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But unfortunately, that's one of those things that have lingered on till today in 2016. If we want to fix a problem, we must first recognize that it exists. As a Muslim, the one place you should feel totally safe and accepted is within a Muslim community. There is discomfort with the realities of inequity that black people in this country face. Think about why that is. We know through the teachings of our prophet, peace be upon him, what a community should look like. Look around you, alhamdulillah, this community is filled with richness, diversity, and creativity. Everyone in this video cares deeply about the community, that's why we want to see it improve. We hope that tonight's message resonates with you, and that hopefully we can bring about a positive change. <clears throat> ASAP, get like me. Yeah, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> 
Some of us on car art. <laughs> How? Where? The one place you should feel totally accepted and safe. Oh. Wait, wait, wait! If you don't. I'm black because I'm proper. I get. <sighs> you were. <laughs> no, my mom is gonna see this. How? Where? <laughs> what job you had? What? 